Hi guys, it's Lisa Murphy and um, I got some new glasses so I'm feeling kind of fancy today. Um, what I wanted to do for you today here on the YouTube is to record what is now rapidly becoming Lisa Murphy's STEM rant. So if you're involved in early childhood education, been working with kids for any length of time, you know the current emphasis that we're putting on the idea of STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. And for your consideration, potentially your uh, little bit of comic relief, I offer for you STEM, S-T-E-M, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math, which came out actually quite a long time ago in response to a bunch of people thinking that, of course, American kids are falling behind in these areas, so we have to, you know, kind of section off these particular things and somehow get them reinserted in their day. Whereas if you really think about it, and we'll come back to this here in a few minutes, um, if you really look and observe and pay attention to children when they're involved in in spontaneous organic play, this was already happening. But we'll come back to that. So as soon as STEM came out, I mean, literally, not even like a minute later, all of the art people got very upset. And so we very, very, very quickly went from STEM, hold on, my cards are out of order, to, oh my God, it's not even here. Where'd it go? It's not there. Oh, it's right behind it. To STEAM. We went from STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math, to STEAM, science, technology, engineering, art, and math. And not too long after that, the reading people came in and said, hey guys, you know, this is all really important, but so is reading. We got to make sure that reading's getting extra attention. So we went from science, technology, engineering, and math, to science, technology, engineering, art, and math, to science, technology, reading, engineering, art, and math. And after that, the music people got involved. And the music people said, all of that other stuff is good, but what about us? So we went from science, technology, engineering, and math, to science, technology, art, engineering, and math, to science, technology, reading, engineering, art, math, and music. Now, wait, wait, but wait, there's more. So then after that, the relationship people got involved and said, hey, none of this curricular stuff is worth anything if the kids aren't building on important relationships with the people in their communities and in their families and in their uh, like their schools of the program, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So we went to science, technology, reading, relationships, engineering, art, music, and math. And then, not two or three months ago, I was at a conference where they said, but what about tools? Children need to be using real tools. So we went from science, technology, engineering, and math now to science, tools, technology, reading, relationships, engineering, art, math, and music, which at the end of the day means let them play. Crazy. Let the children play. And instead of spending so much time, energy, effort, and money fragmenting their experiences and compartmentalizing all of these extracurricular areas, let them play and get really, really, really good at observing what's going on in that play. And then start really, really, really getting good at being able to translate what is unfolding during that play to the people who walk in and don't see that on their own. Let the children play. This is getting ridiculous. I'll talk to you soon.